Well, hello again. It's uh, Thursday morning, and uh, it's slightly snowing. Here we are still in St. Petersburg, Russia. Yep, so we basically did our first round at IVF, and it uh, didn't work, and today we have our second round. But I guess uh, it's more to this story than just IVF, really. I've been wo watching uh, analysis about basically all the stuff that's been happening with the world fertility rate and well i guess all <laughs> we can say that welcome welcome to peak humanity right now which is our lifetimes if you're in your i guess in your mid mid age like i am around 30 40 you'll be living through a period in human history which has seen the most humans that have ever lived and who knows for how long will be also for uh, will be the time when <laughs> it uh, starts dropping from that and i like i said i did some analysis and i watched a lot of the commentary videos and i actually looked at some of the stats myself and oh yeah nice it's nice out here uh but um, yeah, back to the topic. So basically, basically what's happened, according to all the stuff that I've researched, is due to uh, everybody moving more to a city environment instead of a urban environment, from an urban and rural environment, this has caused, uh, essentially, I guess, the standard uh, the fertility rate for that kind of that kind of uh, population to drop uh, in throughout history city states have always like people who lived in cities always had low fertility rates and so that's it I mean if you look at it from the perspective of uh, people <laughs> Video, vlog. <laughs> vlog. Привет, yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Hello, guys. Hi. Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> Have a good time. Good luck. Thanks. So, uh, on the main street here, you get a lot of striptease bar uh, uh, promoters. Uh, and that was one of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, People living in cities have less kids because it's more expensive and it's less space. And uh, with more people living in cities and, and uh, crowded environments, uh, they're not going to have as many kids. That's pretty it. It's pretty basic. So where do we go from here? <clears throat> well, there's so much push to have, uh, you know, people have children. Really at this point, because otherwise, I guess the city states as we know them, well, the states, uh, we, we, we call them countries, but they're essentially by legal definition states, uh, federations or republics or things like that. Uh, but anyway, those a lot of those will essentially disappear. Uh, they will not be what what we uh, what we see them as today. So that's it. <laughs> Oh gosh, so, I mean, if you kind of look at it from the perspective of diminishing returns, you get uh, essentially what, let's have a look, right? So, in order to fund your life, like to live, buy food, buy a car, to function within society, uh, previously you would have to spend 16 to 28, 24 years, sorry, you'd have to You'd have to spend up to 16 maximum years to get right in society, and now you have to spend at least 24 years. Uh, but the age between 16 and 24 is when people are most fertile. And I guess in that case, like uh, if you have three or four kids, and uh, the mortality rate isn't anywhere near what it was, the rate of growth is much faster. So you kind of have to find the same amount of land for that amount of people. Uh, so the cost of actually living the life that your parents lived increases because 
essentially you're you need to get to a point where you can contribute to society which requires more education uh and then all of a sudden we've got enough education to make a living but then you need to you need to compete for land and space with all these people that are still living and so the price of of uh where to live goes up uh you could live out in this in the rural areas but because of automation and machinery rural lifestyles and uh farming lifestyles are very are have decreased and with the marketing and promotion of you know city cosmopolitan life it's obviously going to be a lot more exciting to live in the city for people and so thus you kind of like you're in your 20 late 20s 30s and you kind of started making a life for yourself and you decide you want to have kids but then if you're if you're a woman then you don't make much income and you've got to rely on uh you know a partner to to make that income and so you need to find someone who is able to support you which is less and less likely because the cost of living uh has essentially gone up all around the world and that's a difficult one to analyze I'm not going to uh go too deep in that one but yes the cost of living all around the world uh has gone up and the cost of property has gone up also so we're kind of like in this death spiral where you need to do more to be in the same position as what you know our parents were previously and with that all of a sudden we get to a position where you need to be in your you're in your 30s and 40s and then you can i guess have kids but by that time the <laughs> the chance of having kids and the number of kids you're going to have is going to be a lot less so i'm in my 40s and we have one daughter and i'll have another kid probably maybe depending on what happens we're going to try IVF if it doesn't work we're going to try one more time we've got like another round of i guess embryos we could use for IVF but you know after that that's it i guess we're going to watch as uh the world blooms and uh then fades <laughs> and uh it's an interesting like story to think about there's a sort of i guess a bit of sweet uh, aspect to it where you know we've lived in a, in a humanity that is so uh, amazing but inevitably you can't sustain a life where you a life like this for for too long like the it's uh i guess another another comparison would be with say for instance uh what would you call it um the uh mouse experiment the uh mouseutopia so where was i yes that was it mouseutopia and so <laughs> what just happened is i was recording and uh i ran out of recording space uh, intermission <laughs> so there there we have it we have so much to look forward to um you know i haven't been to japan i haven't seen what's happening there with regards to the kind of the rural areas outside of the cities and japan still has an incredibly large population so you know coming from australia which is a country oh, who knows how many times the size but with a population you know one less than one quarter well yeah less than one quarter one fifth of that of japan it's going to be difficult to you know have a a look and see if there is really kind of like empty cities or anything like that because a lot of australia is empty anyway but i guess it would be more of a contrast as to i guess maybe have a look at the the population even here i'm walking through the streets in russia you don't see many kids uh very few in the evenings um i know in china and south korea i hear that uh you know there's been a lot of uh what you call it um decrease in in the let's make this quick so there's been a decrease in the amount of child care centers and uh and also uh you know early learning centers 
Well, yeah. Well, guys, I think, look, uh, what else can I say? I mean, it's all, it's all happening, right? We're, um, we're going IVF again, and hopefully we have another kid. I guess it, it's uh, such a juxtaposition of, uh, of perspectives when you look at, like, the personal aspect of it all. Uh, with how, you know, having a kid is such a personal experience. I mean, you know, that person is there with the rest of your life. It's probably the one of the one of the experiences, one of the greatest experiences, you know, in life along with you know the the things you do with your family. Uh everything else just seems a bit like noise. But on that note, um oh I hope it all works out for us. But uh, I will see you in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching and listening. And um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye.